Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. This is your host Carmina and today we are going to investigate a mystery. The mystery of a disappearance, very possibly murder. As you can see, I'm not wearing a leopard or tiger print, so we're not going to be talking about Joe Exotic. On the contrary, I'm wearing black, so I would like to talk about the disappearance and the possible murder of Carol Baskin's second husband, which was a millionaire named Don. We're just going to focus on that for today. There is a lot to be said about Tiger King. I feel bad about all the animals that are kept there. We're going to be using the Cards of Truth, which is a predictive system. It's similar to the Cards of Life and the Cards of Destiny, but it has some different takes. So if you're used to any of those systems, be open for something different. We're just going to be looking at some events in Carol Baskin's life and some events in Dawn's life. And uh, we're going to make some predictions about whether the murderer is going to be found this year. I believe that Carol Baskin is born before sunrise because I checked if she's born after sunrise, then she would be a jack of diamonds. And the events in her life just don't line up. She is like a queen of diamonds. She's a very active woman. She posts all the time. She's affluent, right? So the queen of diamonds is a rich, powerful woman in general. And also, if you look here at the Jaimini Karakas, which are the significators for the person and the, the close people in their life, we can see that the self planet, the planet with the highest number of degrees, is Saturn. And if you look at Saturn, it's here in the Saturn card with the Queen of Spades. So this Queen of Spades is a very important card for her to describe how she is. So she's the Queen of Diamonds, she likes to be, she likes her power, she likes her money, right? But she's also the Queen of Spades. She likes her independence, she can be cruel, she can be fierce when she needs to be. And the path is the Seven of Spades, it's a difficult path if we look at her age 58, she's 58 now, she's going to be 59 soon. She just had her second Saturn return. So it's an important time for her. She's a Saturn soul planet. She just had her second Saturn return. And right now she's in the Saturn period of her year where she has this 10 of spades with Pluto, Saturn, South Node. And the 10 of spades is a difficult card to have. It can be a lot of insult it can be a lot of difficulty that you have to overcome which probably she's getting a lot of hate mail and people are probably going to start investigating into her actions let's take a look at the the time when her husband disappeared she was 36 isn't that interesting another saturn reference because 36 is the saturn maturation age so in june there was a seven of spades cards and which is also her path in life and why was that difficult because in june of 97 she was having a lot of fights with her second husband with don with her millionaire second husband she actually uh, threatened to kill him with a gun several times he actually filed for a restraining order against her, but the judge denied it. And we're gonna see in his chart what was going on during that time. But for her, it's a very messy, a very violent, a very crazy, tough situation. And I'm not saying it has to be to this extent for all people who are queen of diamonds, but for her having planetary combinations and other factors in her personal horoscope, this is what happened. In June, this was uh, going on. There was a lot of turmoil. And then between the 28th of July and the 18th of September, she was running the Jack of Spades. This is the soldier card. This is the survivor card. You need to do anything to survive. And the, this is around the time in August when her ex-husband, he told her he wants to file for a divorce. And then he mysteriously disappeared, nowhere to be found. She had to do whatever it takes. That's what the cards say, that during that time she had to find a solution no matter what. The Jack of Spades can also be a cruel card. Like all the spades, you're just in survival mode. You're just thinking about yourself. You're just protecting yourself. 
Also, her Pluto card that year was a nine of spades, a very difficult card, like a work that she felt she needed to do. A lot of dark and spooky things happening around that time for her. So remember, age 36, Saturn maturation. It's interesting to notice that her husband disappeared, vanished from the face of the earth when he was 59. And now she's going to be 59 in a few months. And guess what card is going to pop up in her year just immediately after she turns 59? The Five of Clubs. And the Five of Clubs is actually the birth card of her ex-husband, the one who mysteriously vanished. Now let's take a look at his chart. He's a Five of Clubs birth card. His Pluto card is a Four of Clubs. We're going to see that. His Venus card is a Jack of Hearts. That can show that in his relationships, he, he was like, he just loved falling in love. And the Jack of Hearts is the lover card. So that makes sense that he would fall in love like with a younger, seductive woman. Also in human design, if you care to check it out, he's a 2-5 profile. And we just talked about the 2-5 person about Lil Peep and the difficulties that he had uh, connecting the, the shy hermit side to the more out there part where people are projecting their hopes and dreams onto them. And Karen also had the five line. She had, she's a five one profile. So she's very seductive, very alluring, very magnetic. She also projects an aura of something. You know, people just want to go to her, just they want to believe in her. When they got married, Dan was running the, the Four of Clubs ecliptic. So he was on the Four of Clubs path. The Four of Clubs for him is his Pluto card. So he was going to have a Plutonian experience. He, that year, he was just, you know, I'm just going to be inspired with my work. Maybe I'm going to move to a new house that it's going to be inspiring. Everything is going to be stable. But actually, from that stability, that was some some hidden thorn there that was going to teach him a very hard lesson he got married here between the the 3rd of october and the 24th of november and you can remember that her saturn card which was her soul planet card so a very important card in her spread is the queen of spades and guess what card he's running there when they got married? A queen of spades with Venus to top it off. So now let's skip forward to his age 59. You can see he was having a difficult time. He was running a five of spades. He was threatened at gunpoint twice by his wife, Carol. And she said she was going to kill him. So he had to apply for a restraining order. That's a very five of spades time that he was running and you can see that his jupiter is also five of spades with the ninth cusp of marriage so difficulties there pertaining to marriage and then also what do we see his probable death time is mid-august so then he was running that king of spades which is the definitive change that's going to affect him long term so this was around the time when he decided he wants to get a divorce and that never happened because he just mysteriously vanished for no one to find him. So now let's just skip to his chart, although he went missing at 59, which was also his second Saturn return. Let's check his chart this year. The documentary Tiger King was launched on March 10th. And on March 9, in his chart, he starts running the Four of Clubs, and that's also his Pluto card. And at the same time, we can see that Pluto in that year, it's the king of spades, which he was running around the time when he mysteriously vanished. There's this correspondence, this his natal Pluto card, the four of clubs. We saw it as um, the path when he got married to this woman. And now when this documentary was launched through entertainment, which could be four of clubs, is a way of discovering a hidden truth like a painful hidden truth like pluto often is and then the king of spades reinforces that the king of spades that he was running around the time that he went missing and the king of spades in general shows like a definitive long-term change like a radical change that's going to impact for a, a longer time span 
and it's a very difficult card. It can be a death card. Judging by these two things, I would say that the the truth is going to be found this year because carol also she will be running a, a five of clubs after her birthday so i would say that this summer the truth will be uncovered probably by independent journalists independent people looking for it i'm not sure if by the authorities but i think it's going to be a more aquarian affair which are more people sharing news more informal, more alternative type of solution to be found. So yeah, that's my prognosis. I would say judging on what the cards are saying, she definitely undertook some shady actions in the summer when he died. And also the truth will definitely come out this summer. Immediately after her birthday or right before her birthday, there's going to be something that's going to come to light. Who knows, maybe a secret, a secret testimonial, maybe some DNA. I hope justice will be served. This transit that's been happening with Saturn, South Node, Pluto, it sure uncovered a lot of dirt, because Saturn also rules dirt. Jupiter being there maybe facilitated it being brought to light. It was a spark of luck also for the family of Don, Carol's second husband, because otherwise, if this documentary about Joe Exotic wouldn't have come to light, they probably would never have so much public interest in the case being closed. So for them, I hope they can have a conclusion. I hope they can have some resolution. Okay, that's about it for today, you guys. Maybe I'm going to do a video on Joe Exotic with human design to show, to illustrate what not to do as a manifester because he's a manifester. So yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye.